eggs and snow. That wasn't my plan, but um, across the water from us here in Scotland is um, a city called Dublin. And uh, recently we had the Bellator Bama event, which saw Conor McGregor jump the cage uh, at the end to celebrate with his teammate. And in doing so, he caused uh, he caused a lot of problems, Bobby, particularly when he was <laughs> escorted away by our own Mark Goddard. Um, did you see this incident? And, and if so, what were your thoughts on it, mate? I did, and I will go back to, you know, I, I've um, messaged with Mark Goddard back and forth um, on a few occasions, and uh, after that fight, I, I did as well. Um, however, um, as a referee, our job is, our, our number one priority and our only priority is fighter safety. Well, first and foremost, Connor in that situation uh, should have been treated like any other fan. He, he entered the cage illegally. Um, he put the, the fighters are at risk, you know, as a referee or anybody, you, you don't know who's coming in the cage. You don't know why they're in there. Um, I thought Mark Goddard handled it so textbook professionally that, um, you know, if you go back and you watch the video, just his, his demeanor, he never got rattled. He, he was attending to the fighter. He was trying to come to a decision on, you know, whether the fight was over, or if the round was over Yeah, yeah. And, and through all of that chaos that's going on he's still you know keeping the fighter safety in mind and he's coming to a decision and he never let it you know if you notice connor pushes him and then connor tries to get in his face and and through that that whole way mark never never wavers from what he's doing yes. and I, I think that absolute professional and you know just a tremendous representative for our sport and everything else um now, I, I don't know what will happen to Connor or, uh, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen there. But I would say if you were in attendance and you jumped the cage, you probably have been sitting in jail that night. Yes, 100%. So, yeah. so you know, I, I don't know what will happen. I don't know if he's getting the suspension. I don't know. I, you know, that's obviously nobody knows at this point. But as far as how the situation was handled, I thought Mark just it was pinpoint. And, you know, that's one of those instances – you don't train for as a referee. Yeah. That isn't something you ever expect to have happen to you. So for him to just be so pinpoint on what he was doing uh, was was remarkable. So I learned a lot from it. Yeah, that's well said, mate. Yeah, he was very level headed and 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 that heat of the moment. And uh, and, and a gentleman out there, Paddy the Baddy, uh, and uh, the fight. Uh, as UK fans want to see, man, but fighting Paddy Pimlet is that is that something you welcome, Brendan? What's your thoughts? Tell us, mate. Um, no, I'm pretty good, you know, that it's, it looks like it's never going to happen now, and it's, it's so sad that the whole world wants to see it, and, you know, these promotions can't come together, or whoever it is in the way, I don't know, I've got no doubt that Paddy will fight me, and we all know that I'll fight Paddy, so, I don't know, it's, it's sad that it will happen, but, come on, let's be honest, it's an easy night's work, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's, it's an easy night in the bag, you know, it's a Manchester-Liverpool derby, it'll be a bit of fun and that, but, in, in realistic terms, it's an easy night at the office for me. Compared to the guys I'm fighting, it's an easy night at work. It's definitely a fight, especially us in the UK want to see. And I hope um, promoters out there listening, man, if they had any sense, the promotion's already done, guys. Get it booked. Silly, isn't it? It is. It, it, is. it seems like uh, half the work's done. This is what I've said a couple of times now. Um, it's just waiting on you guys both saying yes, which it sounds like you're both keen for. So it's the easiest Hopefully thing just to book it. Fingers That's crossed. Fired that everyone wants to see especially maybe even if the UFC comes to Liverpool like to say they're going to do it I mean that would be a nice card to fill up the prelims yes with. yes absolutely mate well said obviously I don't want to look too far ahead though we've got like I said 80